All right, guys, so as you guys can tell, Wendy is finally in. Um, she was feeling kind of loopy. That was actually a pretty fast reaction to whatever they gave her. They told her it was equivalent to three tequila shots. Whatever they gave her, she was feeling loopy, and it was funny, but she was finally in. Um, they took her, you know, everything's looking good, so let's all cross our fingers make sure everything goes good for Wendy and uh, I'll keep you guys posted to see when they call me or whatever you know what needs to get done but uh, yeah here we go all right you guys so I just came to Dutch Bros for the very first time while I am waiting for Wendy to finish up her surgery um, I've never been to Dutch Bros honestly this is my first time and uh, to tell you the truth it actually doesn't taste that bad. Just, it's kind of weird how it's got that little weird circle to drink. It just, it feels weird on my tongue. Overall, pretty good though. I got this little poppy seed muffin lemon top to whatever this is. Doesn't look so appetizing. I don't know why I got it, tell you the truth. Um, but everybody swore by um, Dutch Bros. So I was like, you know what, let me try it out. And it's all right. I mean, it's not, I, I don't know if I got the right Man, I'm not even recording myself. I was going back. Anyways, um, I don't know if I got the right drink or anything. I usually just get the cappuccino anywhere I go to. Cappuccino is my go-to coffee drink, I guess you would say. It's like, honestly, it's my favorite. So, um, I got the cappuccino, so it's probably not like their signature coffee. Obviously, probably it's not. Um, but overall, it's pretty good. Um, we are going to explore here a little bit while we have some time because Wendy will be in there for about an hour and a half to two hours. So we're just gonna, I don't know, drive around. I've, I've really never even been to Bar, I mean, sorry, Bakersfield. So let's go check it out and then see what we can find. And then hopefully we don't get lost because I get, I get lost pretty easily. That's actually something I'm really good at. I get lost pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, first stop was definitely Dutch Bros. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Stick with me. Bye. All right, guys. So I finally got the phone call that Wendy is good. Thank God everything went well. Um, it was quick. It was actually quicker than I thought. So I'm actually going to videotape here when she comes out to show you guys how she's looking, how she's doing. Actually, I know she's doing good because she's a strong woman. Um, but yeah, they called me and it was actually very quick. I think they called me like four. Oh, here she comes. I, I can come down? Oh, okay. Yay. <laughs> All right guys, so I just had surgery. I'm out. I feel a little bit kind of dizzy because of the anesthesia, but um, everything turned out really good. I went in there and they connected. They gave me like anxiety medication. They gave me nausea medication. And then they, the anesthesia person put like oxygen on my face and told me to do like take deep breaths and as soon as i took deep breaths like i don't remember anything and i just woke up right now super wild but my big old titties are under this sweater so i'm excited to show you guys so stay tuned and i'm gonna give you guys um a full like look of how they look in the next video but thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for the encouraging words the prayers for my friends and family and we love you guys bye I feel so drugged, like I feel like I'm high. So we came to our friend's house. <laughs> we came to our friend's house here in Bakersfield, which is only like 15 minutes away from my surgery place. They're so nice for offering this for us. Um, they're like real ones for sure. The neighborhood's so nice. I feel really numb and I feel drugged, but I am feeling a little bit of pain, so I think I'm gonna take medication right now. Um, but I, other than that, I feel good. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about my breast augmentation and my experience with it. Today marks three weeks since my surgery, so I'm still fairly swollen. The swelling has gone down a lot, but it's still going down and I can tell only because when I lift my arms, the shape is still kind of like the triangle up here, which I'll get more into that in, in a little bit. But just so you guys know that this is not gonna be the final result, the swelling is still Still going down quite a bit but so far I'm completely in love with them I'm actually excited to see them go down just a little bit more because I am a very petite girl and they are looking really big on me but I did ask for a high profile so that was kind of something that I was 
aiming for. I wanted to get my boobs done and I wanted to look like I got my breasts done. I didn't want to just keep them natural, if that makes sense. If I wanted to keep them really natural, then I wouldn't have gone um I wouldn't have gone through with the surgery anyways because I had I had boobs. I just didn't have the cleavage that I have now. So, starting with my experience, I know that I had filmed my pre-op appointment, which is basically just going in and trying out basically the silicone in a bra and just seeing it from like in a mirror to see like the shape of it, I guess, and how much is going to be sticking out. The same day of my pre-op appointment was the same day that I paid full for my surgery. I posted on my Instagram and if you guys don't follow me, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. But I did put on Instagram like questions that you guys may have of my breast augmentation and also any questions for like the recovery and let me pull that up really quick some of them were just kind of like repeating questions so i kind of try to sum up everything into the most generic answers so basically here is one from ashley nicole she said you look great did you get a lift as well and do you have any regrets first of all thank you so much that means the world to me um and then second to answer your question, I did not get a lift. I was told I was borderline needing a lift, meaning I am gonna insert a photo of what I mean, uh, borderline, meaning like my nipple placement was slightly above where the cutoff of needing a breast lift, basically. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you that are returning, you would already know that I have two children and I breastfed both of my kids. I breastfed my daughter. Uh, my youngest for about a year and she was very aggressive with breastfeeding so she was always like pulling and tugging so she really took my breast really took a toll um with breastfeeding my my daughter i took their advice um and i ended up not going with the breast lift and they told me that with the implant it was going to fill up all of my loose skin and fill in basically what was deflated from breast breastfeeding and all that stuff for those of you that don't know, most of the people that get breast lifts are either people that have gone through pregnancies, people that have lost a substantial amount of weight, or people that are just getting older and they lose all of their like skin elasticity on their boobs. The next question is, how did you know which type of implant to choose? So I went with Celine, they're water-filled implants, and I went in with knowing that I wanted a high profile cleavage and i wanted something that looked high profiled and with silicone it's known to be more of a natural look which is going to be like the teardrop look that's what everyone was basically explaining to me when they were educating me about the implants me already being borderline need needing a lift and me thinking that whenever this uh, silicone were to drop I already had the natural drop of my breasts already kind of falling from breastfeeding and whatnot. I just felt that Celine was a better fit for me. And that brings me to my next question, which is, do your breasts feel hard or are they still soft? And for me, I'm only three weeks post-op, so I still feel them pretty hard, but I also feel them really swollen. And I know that they have a lot more to go down because when I lift my arm, I still have the shape like that triangle shape and i'll actually insert a photo of what i mean of the triangle shape it's kind of like pecs right out of uh as soon as you get out of surgery especially the location that i went to they were explaining that my breasts were going to be almost to my collarbone and that's exactly how they were like the day after surgery like my boobs were all the way up here and I was not gonna freak out because they were educating me. They explained to me that this was completely normal and it was gonna take about six weeks for the swelling to go down and my boobs not to be all the way to my damn neck. And um, I still have the same kind of shape at how they were when they were up here. So I know that the swelling is still going down and I'm actually excited to see the swelling go down a little bit more because although I love the cleavage here, I do feel like they're really big still and um i'm a very petite girl so i know that they're gonna go down way more and you guys will see i'll probably do a follow-up video for that as well but so far this is three weeks i love how much they already dropped um they feel hard still but i do feel like they're really um 
they're still too fresh if that makes sense i feel like they're gonna feel more squishy as time progresses but i'm gonna keep you guys updated for the next video if that does happen oh going back to the first question i didn't answer the second part which is do i have any regrets and no i do not have any regrets i feel like this is something that i wanted to do for the longest time and as i imagined it boosted my confidence like i never like i never imagined and especially after having kids and seeing how my breasts grew really big from having so much milk and then deflating and going through all these like roller coasters of like getting big and then small again um seeing them like this it's like it's like a fresh start for me and i'm really really happy with my decision but then again it's only three weeks so i'm gonna keep you guys posted if that changes in the future but so far no regrets whatsoever and then i had someone asked me how is it being a mama and recovering and they look so good and thank you so much um and recovering as a mom is not easy i'm gonna tell you that right now i have two toddlers my son is three my daughter is one and they are very needy they <laughs> need their mom they need me to constantly be like feeding them picking up after them even lifting them sometimes where i'm not supposed to be lifting more than i think they switched it now that i'm three weeks but last week they told me i wasn't supposed to be lifting anything more than five pounds which was really hard for me because i have a lot of things to do like household chores i have just a lot of things to do as a mom so that i think was the biggest challenge for me um but that actually brings me to my next question was how was your recovery and was it easy and what was the first days after surgery those are like the two i feel like are about the same questions how was my recovery and for me day one i woke up i felt what they explained feeling a little bit sore I was on medication for I believe three to four days after surgery, meaning pain medication. I was taking everything on time. I wasn't really allowing myself to feel the pain. I was really good on taking my medication, whether it was the muscle spasm, whether it was the... Was it like the antibacterial one? No, it's not antibacterial one. It, I had two other medications and I can't really think of them right now. But I was really good on taking them on time. As soon as my third day was over, I was I was completely fine. I was not even taking Tylenol. I felt sore. I couldn't lift my arms more than like right here. That was about it. I was listening to my body. I wasn't overdoing it. If I needed to help my kids, I literally had like T-Rex arms all throughout my house. Like... I was using my legs for bending down and lifting things and my arms were just I was trying to let them rest as much as possible I had help I had my husband helping me and I had my mom and my sister um, coming and visiting me throughout like the week so I did have support with my family and that actually is a huge reason why I feel like my recovery was so smooth but um my sister even mentioned to me that she knows people that had like breast augmentation in the past and their experiences were very painful hard recovery and for me it was really easy so she thought that i had a high pain tolerance so that could be the thing i'm not really sure for me the recovery was not hard at all i think it was it was really really easy it was really smooth i think because my recovery was so smooth, it helped me a lot with being able to get through the house, get around and help my kids with everything because I just felt fine. I kind of had to remind myself that I just had surgery and to kind of like take it down a notch because I felt so normal that I wanted to do things independently and then maybe at night I'd feel like extra sore and then I'd have to be like oh my gosh like I need to slow down because then I feel it at night all right guys so the last question is how many cc's I got and I got 500 cc's and I'm a very short petite girl I am 4 foot 11 and I weigh about 130 pounds so I'm not the skinniest girl and I'm very very short but I also felt that my boobs do match my thighs because i do have like thicker thighs 
Um, so I am very happy with my results. I did not want to get something that were going to be too small and felt way too natural. So this is something that makes me feel confident, makes me feel happy. So just keep in mind that whatever you decide to go with, it's going to be ultimately your decision and what your goal is. I went in with knowing that I wanted a full cleavage, exactly what I have now. And I knew that going in, I wanted um, something that wasn't too natural. So that is i didn't go with inspo pics i just i was very vocal to my doctor and i told him exactly what i wanted to happen exactly what i wanted to see and then also i wanted to tell you guys about pricing i know you guys are probably interested about that pricing was not bad at all i paid 4900 for a breast augmentation no lift and i think that is a really really good price because it's here in the united states I felt safe with the doctor. I felt like the doctor was very experienced and it was a female doctor and she was she has very light hands because I had no bruising whatsoever on my recovery. Like there's no bruising. So um actually ended up with one big bruise on one side and I feel like it's because of me doing a lot of movement on my right. It was on my right side, but I feel like it's because I'm right hand dominant and I was moving this hand a lot more throughout my recovery so I feel like I bruised myself but this one had absolutely no bruising whatsoever so I feel like the price I paid was really really well uh, really really good simply because I felt safe with that doctor and I have absolutely no regrets paying that much um and I actually ended up paying full for I ended up paying full on the day of my pre-op appointment so going into surgery I had already paid full I did not finance simply because i did not feel like it was necessary for that amount i just i feel like it's better to save that amount of money and pay it off full instead of trying to do payments and end up paying a lot more than uh 4900 because of interest rates and things like that so okay so yeah that's basically it this is what they look like full profile full profile and 500 cc's they look amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was knowledgeable. And if you guys have any questions, if I missed anything out, please let me know in the comments down below. And let me know if you guys want to see a follow-up video. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.